American bluesman John Campbell was seen in the UK last summer supporting one of his all-time heroes, Buddy Guy, and won rave reviews for his live show and his acclaimed debut album, One Believer. His new album, Howling Mo- Mercy, is to be released this Monday on Electra, and John joins me now. Good to have you here, John. Well, I'm proud to be here. Thank you. It's great. Now, it's it's lovely that you've you've been in music all your life. I mean, you started playing when you were only three Right. My grandmother played Hawaiian steel guitar. And so first time I heard that, I kept trying to get my hands on it. And then you had your own guitar when you were eight. Now, did you really play all day until your fingers bled? Well, I have to admit I did. I was just, um, you know, wild about the guitar and I played it all the time. Now, you were a little bit of a, a wild child, weren't you? Uh I, I mean, you so. were escaping out there, having all these wild uh, field parties That's and stuff. Right. Yeah, and always playing. You had to sneak out of the house. When did your parents find out about this? Well, they. <laughs> I, now looking back on it, I realized they they weren't blind to things, and um, I think ultimately they wanted me to be happy. And um, at the same time, I was very determined to do it. So yeah, I started playing professionally when I was thirteen, which is very very young. Pretty young. Yeah, and you had some wild times drag racing as well. Well, in Louisiana during those days, uh, you could get your permit for a motorcycle when you were 13 and cars when you were 14. Uh, Good Lord. And I started working in a motorcycle shop when I was about 13 years old. So all of our extra money and stuff, we, we got cars and souped them up, you know. And what happened? Well, uh kind of lost control of things, and um, I had a pretty severe accident, and that changed my life at that time. Um, when we say pretty severe, be a little more graphic here. Okay. Um, accelerator stuck, and I bounced off a telephone pole and in and out of the windshield of the car three times. I had a complete fractured skull. Um, my nasal passages were cut out, lost my right eye. Had two plastic surgery operations. And how many stitches? Thousands, probably. Unbelievable. So in that space of time when you were sitting at home and you could hardly mm-hmm. move and you certainly couldn't talk, what were you doing? I was playing the guitar. And you were listening to some good music. I was listening to the classic blues, uh, Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, John Lee Hooker, and trying to understand these sounds. And when I bent those guitar strings, I got in touch with my feelings. For the first time, I realized the guitar was something more than just an instrument to make noise on that you could express your feelings with. And I knew that's what I was going to do for the rest of my life. That was a big turning point for you then, wasn't it? Oh, it is. Now, blues became like a release for you because you were quite introverted at that time, weren't you? Yes, I was. And I think uh, I didn't really understand others so much than that I was connecting with my feelings and that I realized that this was uh, something I was going to do. And as I learned more about the music and the men that made it, I realized that it would be a lifetime's work. So there you were, 16, with $10 in your pocket Mm -hmm. and you left home. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Where did you go? I went to Nacogdoches, Texas, the oldest town in Texas. And uh, there was a college there, and I was coming from a very small town. And uh, there were people there that were interested in music, and uh, I just went to where they were. And you were playing all the time. Oh, yeah. And that's not an understatement. No, no, I played the guitar. It was something that totally consumed me. I played... uh, You know, 10, 15 hours a day. I played all the time and did whatever I had to do to keep the guitar in my hands. Well, let's have a listen to that then. Okay. What are we going to start with? I'll start with the oldest blues song I know, Saddle Up My Pony. Saddle up my pony well, I think it's time To hitch my mare It's time to saddle up my pony I think it's time To hitch my mare And I've been loving I swear she's out there She's in the world somewhere Every time I see a woman 
woman For love It makes me think of mine I see a woman I swear love It makes me think of mine It's been heavy on my conscience And Lord I swear it's worrying My troubled mind I believe somebody may You know they're trying to throw a spell Down on me I think somebody may Oh, they're trying to throw a spell Down on me Well, same worries, same trouble I swear they're hunting uh, and hounding me And if it come my time to die I want you to lay me down All by the highway side Lord, if it come my time to die, just put me down there all by the highway side. So my wicked spirit oh, can very easily catch a Greyhound bus. Fantastic sound there. Thank Excellent. You. American bluesman John Campbell there. I can hear the, the phantom that you refer to in, in, uh, in, in some of the, the writing that I've seen about you. This phantom that's running after you or, or is, uh, or you're chasing it. Well, I, I'll tell you, um, I think we all have our own personal things that drive us or sometimes I think it's hard to determine whether we're pursuing it or it's pushing us. But, um, 
it's kept me on the road. And sometimes the roads are rough and rocky, but sometimes they get smooth for a while. So in between, I think there's a place for a song. Now, the the next song we're going to hear from your album, Ain't Afraid of Midnight, Mm -hmm. has been said to be um, a celebration for you. Absolutely. Why do you say that? Well, um, just like what what we were talking about, um, I think one of the powers of the blues for me has been that it will address a nightmare as equally as a dream. And um, to me, this song talks about getting my own thing to where it's in check long enough to where I can stand my ground and do this song. So you're meeting it face-to-face in a sense. I think you got to. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have a a chance for you to tune up again. Can I sort of let you slip just past the news at 4 o'clock as well? Because otherwise, we're just not going to get enough live. Do you mind? Oh, it's fine with me. Okay, great. Judy says he's playing cards I talk to hell how to sit Judy says he's playing cards I pulled a knife for the devil When he damned my heart Well I tease Egyptian cobras I dare them to bite Well they lunge, they hiss But the serpent thinks twice one look at mine, he recalls in fright. Rough and tumble, stitches and scars. Whenever I rumble, it's no hold but an eye. Afraid of midnight. Well, I ain't afraid of midnight. I'll dance in that graveyard.
John Campbell and Ain't Afraid of Midnight. That last yeah that you have at the end there, John, is like saying, ha ha, I've got you, <laughs> Phantom. Don't you dare mess with me. There you go. It's a lot of energy there. Who are some of you, who are some of the people that first inspired you? I mean, I know that you came from a musical family, but who did you really love? Well, and still do. John Lee Hooker, yeah. Lightning Hopkins, um, Hal and Wolf, Fred McDowell, Son House, you know, so many of the great blues men along the way. Mm. You've worked in some really um, rough areas, haven't you? I mean, I was reading that there were times that if, if you didn't bring a gun with you, they'd give you one. Was it really as bad as that? <laughs> well, that's what we used to say. Come on, was it true? Uh, well, uh, you know. No, I don't. That's why I'm asking you. Well, it was a little, yeah. Sometimes I worked a lot of roadhouses. Yeah. And there's kind of a lawless quality to that. I mean, I have to admit it looking back on it. And things were pretty open. And, um, you know, things happen sometimes. Yeah. Did you ever feel um, any fear when you were up there playing? Oh, not really. Um, you know, a couple of times uh, you got to duck and dodge a little bit. But... <laughs> Baseball's a rough game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Depends who's pitching. That's right. Now, what's the difference between your two albums? Is it a, a, a difference within your own personality, do you think? Well, I think that music ultimately reflects what you're living, you know, if you're playing it from your gut and your heart. And the difference for me is uh, after the first record there, having the chance to tour the world. It's something I've wanted to do. And we did 230 cities last year. And wow. so I think in a way that was like reconnecting with some of my earliest roots and with the music. And it was very, uh, that, that was my life's breath and it fed me. And so I think we started celebrating the performance aspect of music in a way we hadn't before. What was it like playing with one of your all-time heroes, Buddy Guy? It was like being near Zeus when he's hurling lightning bolts. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> More from John Campbell, the American bluesman, just after the news. This is GLR, the BBC station for London, on 94.9 FM. There are things about you that make me want to scream and shout. There are things about you that Lines around your eyes. John Campbell is still here with me. I have sort of taken you a little bit further. You keep apologizing. You don't realize how, how much I'm having a good time here listening to this music. It's well, so good. You. Now, what else can we have? Nothing short. Okay. Um, we're going to do a tune here. This is an acoustic version of uh, a thing called When the Levy Breaks. Right. Great. If it keeps on raining, love is going to break. If it keeps on raining, love is going to break. When the levee breaks, when the levee breaks, when the levee breaks, there ain't no place to stay. Last 
night Sat on the levee I cried All last night Sat on the levee I cried When the levee breaks When the levee breaks When the levee breaks Oh man, there ain't no place to hide Ain't nothing like the blues, no doubt about it. John, thank you very much. Indeed. Thank you so much. Very proud to be here. Thank you. Great. Absolutely fantastic that When the Levy Breaks, John Campbell, the new album out on Monday, February the 1st. It's uh, called Hallam Mercy, and it's on Electra, and you're going to love it. Mm-hmm. 